What's going on guys? Hit pause back for part two of this tutorial. If you remember in part one we did in fact set everything up uh, for export here hopefully. Everything goes clean. So let's go ahead and actually get this out. So I am free to collapse to. Uh, in the old uh, ASE formats and things like that, that wouldn't actually work. So let me select that and make sure it's all selected. And again, like I said in the previous video, this is not a skin weighting or anything like that tutorial. Uh, this is as stock as you can get. I literally put a cat modifier on it, uh, hit it with the voxel skinning, and just said go. I didn't touch anything. So that's again, that's not really the point of what we're doing here. So what we're going to do is export this out. All right. He's going to come apart on us. Uh, we really don't care for the animation, to be honest. At, at this point, uh, it, all of that should actually be inconsequential. Your char uh, whether or not they're animating or, or they're your character or whatever should, uh, shouldn't matter. Base human R palm. Uh, whatever. I don't know what that's going to break, but we'll see. So I'll just bring this in here, not into the blueprints folder. Um, Let's just make a new folder called Larry. And we'll just dump everything in here for now. We can organize it later. Okay, so we want the mesh, we want the skeleton, we want no animations. Uh, we want materials and textures, but we don't want a... I don't know, do we want, a, do we want it to create a physics asset? I kind of think that we do. Uh, it's one of these things. Yes, we're going to do it anyway. Uh, I will just keep it at that. Import. Let's see how Leap and Larry works. I wonder if I just like pigeonhole myself into having to make him leap. All right. Well, there he is. Um, let's uh, pick the cube material or something. All right. There we go. Okay, so you can see he's seam free. Uh, he does have a skeleton here, um, right there. So uh, there he is. There's your character, right? There's my character. There's whoever's character is doing this. Uh, it came in with this image, which because I guess I said import the materials and shit, but I really don't care for those. Uh, what I really want are my four mask images. Oh no, they look like shies. What shall I do to change the fact that they look like crap? Uh, I think it's in one of these advanced doodads. Let's just uh, show all advanced details here. Um, filter. Nearest. Oh, look. It's right here. No. Under compression? No. I gotta find it because I don't want to have to go up to that stupid thing every time. Under texture? <laughs> what the hell is it? Filter. You know what? Maybe I should just do this. Every once in a while you have a good idea. So they all go to nearest. Alright. And close those down. As you can see in the in the each channel, it's uh clean as a nuclear whistle. Alright, so now we can create a material because we pretty much have one for him to start with. Do, 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 do. And we'll get him in the mix. Come on, Larry. Let's uh, put you in here. As man glutes. Alright, so then we come over here and that already like that. Uh, this texture sample can go the way of the piss me off. And let's just, um, I'm actually thinking of making him like a kind of like a uh, like a gold um, and then making him super metallic and not very rough and the reason for that is because um, this will actually show seams uh, very well uh, any seams here will stand out just like uh, really really disgustingly however uh, we really only have a short area of actually any detail here, so we don't want like a zero roughness. You know, that's that's too much. So we'll just lower it to like 
or raise it to like 0.25 and then you know we can disperse it a little bit more uh, but so we can still pretty much clearly I think we can still see whether or not there's gonna be any seams here that that's the main thing okay so here's what we're gonna do this is actually handy that this came up what we're gonna do is let's go grab our masks real quick we'll just drag them up here and wait and then we'll let them go right here okay it is gonna get a little crazy here a little crazy now you could set this up uh, as a material function uh, no problem but eh, I don't think it's really gonna help us and that the key here is we're gonna give these all this UV coordinate and I think this thing has some weird settings on one and one uh, now if we actually let's see how are we gonna do this um, well let's just apply one of them to him in the color right now and you can see that what we're getting is red green and blue right this texture coordinate is already set to coordinate index one because it can't I guess it saw that and brought that in but normally they come in at zero and if you can see here that's just kind of like not correct it's weirdly split in certain areas and you can see here on his head it, it actually has no correlation uh, on UV zero to any kind of this weird grid that we've got going on so we're gonna put this to use UV channel one and that'll be for all the masks and now what we gotta do is we gotta multiply a series of parameters and we'll call this um, head uh, sorry head and this is going to get tedious and I may cut it out but the head remember is the red channel of texture one what did I do I double clicked okay you can right click these things and you can say top row uh, if you want to you can say head body uh, and then what was it left arm left arm or whatever I don't, I don't know like that so as you can see if we look at our little chart here one two three right so it was head body left arm then we can say oh or actually it's his right arm then we can say right hand left arm left hand if we wanna if we wanna be organized about it you can do that here remember this is actually the right arm if you wanna get back to editing that just right click it should still be here in the field until you delete it okay so that's that would be the head body and the right arm so the first one is the head the next one is the body or we can call it the torso and then the next one would be the right arm and these are parameters so we hook that to there hook that to there okay now these should actually default to one okay and now uh, basically we just gotta create the same thing let's get rid of this because it's kind of in the way take the same thing here and now we do the next row which is again it's right hand left arm left hand so we'll say right hand left arm left hand in that order okay right hand left arm and left hand okay we hook these up okay so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna do the next two and I'm gonna end up with a fairly large vertical column of shies here but I'm gonna do the same thing here so when I come back you'll see I'll have these named and I'll have them hooked up to uh, what should be the same you know left arm should be the next one and then left hand should be the next one uh, if you messed up this order like if you accidentally plug left arm into B or something which is supposed to be the left hand you know you'll get screwy results so this having this chart here actually really does kinda help organize this because now I can just say right thigh right calf right foot left thigh left left calf left foot 
right so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be right back okay here we go so here's all of them okay, I'm not gonna show I mean you can see it here there they are remember that's all defaulting to one and now we get the fun part of adding them all up as many as we need it's gonna be a lot probably gonna run out of space I may even want to do this Dang, I missed just one. I, was, I had a good roll going on there. Uh, wait, what? Derp. Okay, so, ta-da! Here is our mask. Start previewing node. Here he is, with everything on. Right? So, let's turn off his left foot okay I misnamed that <laughs> it's his fucking right foot I'm okay, sorry but I can I can flip-flop that easy enough uh, over here by just swapping these um, so there you go that's it that's all you need to do and then now all you need is a parameter to just drive whether or not these are on and what you do here is you take this guy and you say okay well we are opaque well this time we're actually going to be masked and I'm going to come here and I'm going to put that in the opacity mask yeah there we go okay so let's knock off his head I'm stupid I'm sorry guys knock off his head Ta -da, and there's his head gone and when his head's on uh, we got absolutely no seam whatsoever won't let me zoom in anymore but there's no seam at all and at this point you can set up anything you want so that's really all you need to do right here for for this masking system 